We are going to begin in Ukraine with another major city under Russian fire. As the capital of Kyiv reeled from more bombing, more shelling, black smoke rose over the previously untouched city of Lviv. After a strike there on what's said to be a facility that repairs military aircraft, Lviv, largest city in the western part of Ukraine, about 40 miles from the Polish border and NATO territory. Charlie Daggett is in Kyiv for us. Charlie, this is a shift in direction for sure. Good morning to you. Good morning to you. Yes, the bombings in Lviv, the indiscriminate shelling on the outskirts of the city here. It's now spreading terror in the capital. Missiles and artillery have been landing here on a daily basis, sometimes several times a day, as Russian forces intensify attacks here and across the country. Aftermath of the latest missile to slam into a residential neighborhood here this morning. There's no telling when or where the next rocket or rockets will strike. Kharkiv, the second largest city engulfed in flames and under constant bombardment. And in the besieged city of Chernihiv, an American teacher among dozens of Ukrainian civilians killed 68-year-old Jimmy Hill, who had stayed in Ukraine to look after his partner Irina, suffering from MS. From Pittsburgh, um, Katya Hill recalled the last time she spoke with her brother. I could hear bombs in the background. Uh, He um, was going out on a daily basis searching for food. Uh, The hospital lost electricity. The hospital lost gas. There was no heat. My brother was a peacemaker and he was a giver and uh, he just felt everybody in the world should love each other. (laughs) A man weeps over the body of his dead mother in the capital, killed after fragments of a downed missile rained down on this neighborhood. This is what it looks like when a missile misses. People pick up the pieces patiently lining up for plastic sheeting, protection against the cold, if not searing shrapnel. These are some of the fragments of the missile that the Ukrainian military said it intercepted as it flew overhead. And it caused incredible destruction at this building and surrounding buildings. You can see why people are so worried about what may come. Even though this neighborhood is in the firing line, even as Gayla Vereshchak plucks jagged shards of glass from her window, she tells us she's not going anywhere. It's very cold. It's okay, we won't freeze, she says. Love warms us up. Do you have a message for America? Peace in Ukraine, no more war, and that Putin comes to his senses and gets a brain. And we have an update on that bomb theater in Mariupol where there are fears of like a thousand people taking shelter. This morning, Ukrainian officials say around 130 people have been rescued so far. Vlad? Charlie Daggett and keep Charlie, the Ukrainian spirit continues to inspire everyone. Thank you very much. We appreciate it.